I wasn't gonna do this. I was laying in my bed, ready to go to sleep. It's Sunday night. I got stuff to do tomorrow. I saw that Drake dropped this and I tweeted, fuck you, Drake. I was enjoying my day off and I wasn't gonna react to this until tomorrow morning. But then No Life Shack FaceTimed me and told me to get my ass out of bed and get on this shit. So out of respect for him, I'm doing it. But can I please just have one day. One! I'm wearing the shirt. It's become a running joke now. You already know who's sponsoring my channel. Shout out to my homies over at Manscaped. Code Crypt20, 20% off. Free worldwide shipping. And I'll follow you back on Instagram if you buy anything using my code. Just show me your receipt. Pretty sure this shirt is like 15 bucks when you use my code with free shipping. And it's super comfortable. But they got tons of stuff over there. Go check it out. But okay, here we go. We got Drake's The Heart Part 6. Off rip. We already got some disrespect going on here. We got Day Free leaving a heart comment I assume under Kendrick Lamar's wife's Instagram somewhere. We got The Heart part six in day three who is allegedly the actual father to Kendrick's son and then Kendrick obviously has his series where he does the heart part whatever the last one was part five I actually reacted to it and he's saying this is the continuation of that series but it's from Drake this time but all right five and a half minutes let's see what we got going on here now let me see we got a little sample <laughs> all right saying let me see you prove it in the sample Pulitzer a prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First I was a bar, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 okay. Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connect stand up, not far down. The ones that you get in your stories from, they all clowns. I am okay. A I like the bar about him having Kendrick's lines tapped. He swears that he's dialed in because when you tap somebody's line, it's on a phone, you dial a phone. But I got your lines tapped like lines in a song. I know what you're about to write next. But just opening up multiple ways saying, where's the proof for all this stuff that you've been saying? I mean, the sample was somebody saying, show me the proof. And then he's doubling down saying, if I really did some of the stuff that you said, there would be a paper trail. I would be in hiding. I wouldn't have the street cred that I do, which is a valid point. If Drake really did all the shit that has been said by Kendrick on all of this, like he probably would have been dead by now. The ones that you get in your stories from, they are clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in metal. Those honor and decoration you waited for this moment overcome with the desperation we plotted for a week and then we fed you the information a daughter that's 11 years old i bet he takes it we uh. thought about giving a fake name or a destination uh. but you so thirsty you're not concerned with investigation instead you in that venice studio it's a celebration you got oh my shit. Check, check things and be less impatient your fans are rejoicing thinking this is my expiration Even bro okay so straight up confirmed that uh, what everybody was saying that he doesn't actually have a dog and that he planted this information. I mean, that immediately has to discredit all of Meet the Grams, right? Well, maybe not all of it, but at least the third verse where he's talking about Dear Baby Girl and all of this shit. I mean, that's like a chess move, planting the information, knowing that he would use that without even fact-checking it, down to the specifics of saying that she's 11 and in the song, he said that he should be celebrating your 11th birthday. And that discredits a lot more than just the song because Kendrick has also said, like, why the fuck would I dig around trying to find dirt? I'm not gonna do that. But it clearly shows that he was trying to find dirt and that he bit on some fake information and that's something that a seasoned vet would do which is what he said earlier he's a seasoned veteran in this he's a war general he's decorated with all these medals and medals obviously as in the accolades that he has but also war generals they get decorated in more medals the more battles they've been in and the more they've won nice little double there but this is huge because if Kendrick just ran with this and didn't even fact check it what the hell else has he ran with that he's been told like what can I believe is true and what can I not believe is true and I was already on the fence about a lot of things I've said it several times that you kind of just got to take stuff at face value you don't know what is true and what is isn't true but now that something has been proven to not be true what can you believe without the receipts even the picture you use the jokes and the medication the Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation master manipulated Damn. you bit on a speculation you dumb and reactive nigga I'm petty with dedication ah uh. the bones we dug up in that excavation and why is not Whitney denying all of the allegations why is she following mm. Dave free and not miss the morale you haven't seen the kids in six months the distance is wild Dave leaving hard emojis underneath pics of the child Speaking of any ah. of the child, let's get to that now. This All right, hold on. Before you get to the child, that's what this is about right here. This whole caption, this comment right here is under a picture of Kendrick's child. And it's hearted by the author, hearted by his wife, saying his wife doesn't even follow him, but follows Day Free, adding some more fuel to the fire that it's actually Day Free's child. But again, it's like, where the fuck is the proof, man? Makes me not want to react to this shit because I'm just hearing all kinds of fucking rumors and nothing. I need facts. Kind of leaned into the whole master manipulator thing that Kendrick has said over and over again.
Danny's like, you know what? You're right. I manipulated you into thinking you had all this information on me, but you're so reactive and dumb. And he's saying, I'm petty and I'm dedicated into making you look like an idiot. And it worked. And says, why isn't Whitney denying all these allegations? The allegations about Kendrick beating on her, the allegations that Dave Free is the real dad. I mean, I would assume that she would just stay out of it completely and not come out and say anything. That's what I would beg my fiance to do if anything stupid like this were to happen to me. But also, on the other hand, Drake has not denied quite a bit of the allegations that's been said against him in these diss tracks, specifically the predatorial stuff that we've heard. I mean, maybe he gets to it in this, but but that's kind of the pot calling the kettle black. It's like, yo, you've got some allegations you haven't denied either. Why are you using that as a point in this song? Speaking of anything with a child, let's get to that now. This Epstein angle was the shit I expected. TikTok oh, videos. Yeah, I should have waited to pause. And dissected. Instead of being on some diss direct shit, you rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit. Mm, My mom came hard. over today and I was like, mother I, mother I, mother I, wait a second. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about to get so depressing. This is trauma from your own confessions. This when your father leave you home alone with no protection. So neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with is so excessive. The They're acting like it's so aggressive. But you just never known affection. I don't want to diss you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch my body by Mariah Carey play. You probably start reflecting. I never been with no uh. underage. But now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Just for oh, man, again, I feel icky. My man straight up just said, you're taking all these angles because you were molested as a child. That's why you're saying all this stuff. Ah, that's, that's a, I feel like that's a swing and a miss right there. I like the bars leading into it where he said, instead of being on some dis direct shit, you took your pen and miss direct shit. Again, referencing just kind of all these fake rumors that are being spread about him and Kendrick feeding into all that. Saying like you could say some real stuff and some facts about me, but instead you say all these lies and misdirect everything. But he was right. Got depressing real quick. You gotta hear in Drake's voice he's like God, I really don't want to do this anymore shit has gotten dark and then proceeds to throw a punchline about touch my body by Mariah Carey it has him reflecting about his own molestation I mean I don't know if Kendrick's ever been molested or not he said there was a song about it I haven't heard that song but regardless we're like we're tiptoeing some odd lines here I never been with no one underage but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with just for clarity I feel disgusted I'm too respected Me too. if I was fucking young girls I promise I'd have been arrested I'm way okay. too famous for the shit you just suggested but that's not the lesson clearly there's a deeper message deep cuts that's the excuse I'm way too famous to molest people and to be with underage girls are we not forgetting about the famous people that have done that they got caught what an odd retort I'm too famous to do this stuff said I promise if I was fucking young girls that I would have been arrested it just means that he hasn't been caught if it was true I mean I don't think that it's true I really don't think that is true but the way that he's trying to prove that it's not true is weird I don't know I don't like this angle right here being taken about the whole molestation thing and the predatorial stuff has made me feel weird anyway throughout these last few songs but yeah him saying that he's too respected and too famous to be doing all this stuff is just that, that's whack the shit you just suggested but that's not the lesson clearly there's a deeper message deep cuts that never healed and how they got infected like if dave really nice. fucked your girl and got her pregnant talk about breeding resentment not sure how to ease Ooh, the sentiment this shit's too intimate oh that's a bar right there talk about breeding resentment if dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant breeding the son is the offspring the breed breeding resentment he resents his son again still harping on this whole molestation thing saying that there were deep cuts and wounds that never healed so now they're infected and he's kind of spreading the infection and taking it out on drake and making up this stuff about him sheesh girl and got her pregnant talk about breeding resentment not sure how to ease the sentiment the shit's too intimate i'm praying you recover mm. from both incidents but you a piece of shit so this shit really no coincidence drake mm. is not a name that you gonna see on no sex offender list easy does it you mentioned it a minor okay nice got little easy does it right there i think the whole thing that started all this was the like that track and it sampled easy does it by easy -E. but we got him wrapping this up by saying like he doesn't know how to kind of end this topic that he prays he recovers from both incidents the molestation and also dave being the potential father of his son but that kendrick is a piece of shit and it's no coincidence that these happened to him saying that he was molested and that his general manager is potentially his father's real father it all happened because kendrick's a piece of shit wild stuff easy does it you mentioned it a minor but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it okay you thought you left d flat d major i slit your door right, with the razor bars. and do rick ross hair like that one flight from malaysia i'm your baby mama screensaver only fucking with whitney's not millie bobby browns i never look twice at no teenager i'm a fucking uh, God, I feel dog, weird. not a peacemaker 
Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber. Yo ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit, you about to Okay, at least we've moved on to some different subjects now. I can kind of relax a little bit. Had some flips on the chord progressions. Obviously, the major line from Not Like Us is A minor. He's saying you got a B sharp. You thought you left D flat. Drake flat. You thought you flattened me, but D is major. I'm up. And then we got some more of him denying the predatory allegations. Saying he would never look twice at a teenager. He only fucks with the Whitney's, not the Millie Bobby Browns. There was all these weird rumors floating around about Millie Bobby Brown whenever she was like really big into the Stranger Things scene and Drake was friends with her. Everybody thought it was weird. But I have been seeing this thing float around where Drake kissed a 17 year old on stage and like acknowledged she was 17 and still kissed her. 17's a teenager, by the way. And we had that one random line saying that he would make Rick Ross's airplane just disappear like the Malaysian Airlines. Still haven't made it a full track where it was only Kendrick. We almost did it. And then I did see where people were saying that Kendrick was botting his views on YouTube. And it's just him saying, stop botting your views, which is like a YouTube rapper response to other YouTube rappers. I feel like this shit is big enough where nobody's really botting views. At least they don't need to. But anyway, I digress. But your ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shit you about to need for later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe okay. when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he needs some paper. Album dropping soon. No wonder you turn a clout chaser instead of doing hard labor. Nigga, I wow. see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit your back, it's a lot safer. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a bar right there. Yeah. Okay. All right, oh, we still got a minute and a half left. That was a bar right there at the end. Saying that when I hit you back, it'll be a lot safer. Kendrick beating his wife, but I'll hit you back as in like I'll talk to you later. Saying that he will see Kendrick later, maybe when Kendrick meets his maker, which could be seen as a few things right there. He's saying that he doesn't want to see him until he dies, or he'll see him when he sees his maker as in Drake, as in Drake made Kendrick. That Kendrick is only successful because of Drake. He is his maker. But saying I don't want to fight a woman beater, that it feeds your nature. Drake is saying that he would then become a woman beater because he is beating him and he sees him as a woman, as a bitch. And then we got this line about R. Kelly, which makes me wonder if Drake is like looking at Twitter trying to get lines for some of these songs. Because I saw a lot of that this morning, where people were showing that Kendrick threatened to take his music off Spotify if Spotify removed R. Kelly's music. That was back, you know, six, seven years ago. He's like, bro, you're a fucking hypocrite. He was doing all this shit with underage minors and all this other stuff, and now you threatened to kill me over it, even though I didn't even do it. I can see the stance on that for sure. And then ends it by saying he's doing all this because he's working on an album and he's trying to build his name up for a buzz for the album. And a random punchline about Fantasia's song when I see you. I don't know. I feel like we're all over the place. We got some really hard hitting points in here, but then we got some like odd things too. We got a minute and a half left. Let's keep it going here. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. This shit was some some good exercise. Like it's good to get out, get the pen working. You okay. would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor. But it is what it is. You definitely got this shit burnt the fuck out though. Like you got. 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. Mm. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. Ah. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't. That's True. wild. I was literally talking to my fiance about that. I kind of showed her all the songs and asked for a non-biased perspective on who she thought was winning the beef. And then I said that specifically. I was like, I think he might have kind of dropped the club song to kind of, you know, brush off the last one because the whole daughter thing, nobody really knows if that's true or not. And he didn't really talk about it. And the West Coast style song says that he would be a worthy competitor if he wasn't lying every single time he got on a song or to every editor or blogger out there and that he's burned out on it. Like, how can you defend all these lies? I get it. I'm burnt the fuck out trying to make all these damn videos. That I could dance to it he wasn't tripling down on some whole other bullshit but you know at least your fans are getting some raps out of you i'm happy i can motivate you bring <laughs> you back to the game like that, that, that is know, true but glad to get some let more me know when we get into the facts everything in my shit is facts everything i'm waiting on you to return the favor like okay 
just kind of talking to him at the end right there saying like i'm not lying on my shit you're lying all the time i'm ready for you to return the favor and stop lying start saying facts quit spreading these rumors and though like i said we got some stuff that's not factual either on drake's side at least we don't have proof of it for example drake free being the father of kendrick's son i don't know man like i said this is kind of everywhere there's some really hard hitting points and i feel like the beginning of this almost got overshadowed by that whole weird molestation angle that he took in the middle because the beginning bars of him saying like we finessed you into lying to your fans about me having a daughter it's all fake you didn't even do research you are spreading fake information that is huge and detrimental to this entire beef but i feel weird after listening to this when some shit calms down i definitely want to do like a tier list video and rank these diss tracks and try to figure out who the hell is winning or has won this beef when it's all settled and done but that's it for this one let me know how you guys felt about this maybe we feel a little bit differently on some of this i like that he's responded to a lot of the stuff but i, I didn't really care for some of the angles that he took but definitely don't want to skim over the fact that it's a huge blow to some of the stuff that Kendrick has said. But alright, I'm done. I'm going to lay down now. I'm sure I'm going to wake up and there's 15 more songs that's happened overnight. I love you guys. Coker 20, Manscaped, 20% off free worldwide shipping. And this is my music if you want to check me out. Peace out. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I catch a hater by his toe and hang him high up in the sky until he cries to stop the jokes. I be catching bullets like Houdini, but I'll never fold because I be getting stronger with every shot like a cortisol. People want to talk like I'm a fictional person. Like I will pull up to your crib like a shepherd and get to hurting. What the fuck did you say? You didn't mean it. Okay. Therefore, a second, I thought you really wanted to dig a grave. So just turn